Hello, my name is Noah. I'm a security analyst here at Bitlift, and today I just wanted to come to you guys and show you one of the um, incident responses that we worked on a couple weeks ago. So the situation, the background of what we were investigating was an XLS document that had a web frame uh, that was linking back to a redirect URL for compromised credentials. Uh, one of our clients, higher education clients, received this as a dropper on one of their uh, machines and they wanted us to take a look at it to see if it was going to cause any harm to their machine or not. So we took some investigation um, based on what we could see on our internal tools as where it was going, why the web frame was there, what the web frame was actually doing. And it turned out that they were utilizing the WAP iframe from SharePoint so what this web frame does is allows you to have server redirect embedded URLs. So essentially you're able to put whatever URL you want into the web frame in order for it to go to your server. So what this um, malicious actor did was take a couple of the images I have here of this, this uh, K-12 school. And what they were doing was having the iframe on this server here and using that as an overlay to the, uh, the the web frame on the higher education client of ours XLS document that, that they dropped. So here you can see um, I have two, two screens up of what the actual login looks like for that K-12 school that it redirected back to and one that was the malicious one that they were using to utilize that uh, malicious web frame. Uh, so with our internal tools, we found that the, the REST API for the server redirect um, allowed them to not only take credentials, but uh, compromise that account as well. So when we were looking at the document that they shared that was dropped on their server um, that, that one of their faculty members opened up, uh, straight away we knew it was going to be a redirect to a malicious web frame. Uh, when you opened up the Excel document, it redirected back to uh, a malicious URL. So the URL was not of the uh, O365 login that the, the school uses. Um, it was the compromised server that was hosting that web frame redirect URL. So one thing to look out when you receive files um, from, from emails to to look at the URL that opens up with it. That's one of the main key indicators that that could be a malicious file. 